Every day in New Zealand, people die from some form of cardiovascular disease. It is the country's number one killer. Public health physician Gita Gala confirms the research that ethnic Indian men are more prone to it than any other ethnic group in the country. They have the highest risk of getting coronary heart disease, which is when the coronary blood vessels fail to supply adequate circulation to the muscle and tissue of the heart. My research was basically to find the prevalence of coronary heart disease in New Zealand nationally. And I did some figures to find what is the problem with the three district health boards in Auckland. They have higher rates of angioplasty admissions to hospital with the coronary heart disease or heart attacks or ischemic heart disease and higher rates of coronary artery bypass grafting when compared to other ethnic groups. And this is particularly the male gender. The estrogen in the female gender in general uh, protects them from this heart disease. If you're a member of the Indian community, praise yourself. Research also shows that Indian men also have the highest risk of contracting diabetes. Also, when both the genders are included, Indians are the second highest group after Maori for coronary heart disease and first equal with Pacific Islanders for diabetes. Obesity is one of the main factors um, for heart disease and diabetes you have to change your lifestyle or modify them to see that you know you could in improve your risk profile and not have this risk factors so you want to improve your diet your nutrition lose weight improve your physical activity do more exercise and particularly you cannot do much with your genetic risk so you since indians are at more higher risk they have to do more of these things to improve their heart cardiovascular health Genetics plays a big part in the problem, something Norman Sharp, the medical director at the Heart Foundation, knows well. Something that's probably more sensitive and applicable to South Asian and Indian people is the waist circumference. Just simply putting a tape measure around the middle. Because what people develop, and this is particularly true for South Asian and Indian people, they develop a risk syndrome that we call metabolic syndrome, and it's getting fat around the middle. And I think Indian men are particularly prone to metabolic syndrome. When they get that metabolic syndrome, the cholesterol goes up a little bit, the blood pressure goes up a bit, the blood sugar goes up a bit, so they're heading uh, on that pathway to more serious risk. Coronary heart disease is a disease that develops very gradually over decades. You have these coronary arteries, these little pipes getting clogged up, literally like rusty pipes. And it's a process that takes many years, decades, but the end result is quite sudden. With a heart attack, when one of those narrowed vessels finally blocks off, or even sudden death. That is the reason that we advocate not only lifestyle changes and healthy living, but we advise that everyone has a heart health check. To avoid nasty surprises, the action is simple. More exercise and less fatty food. We know that the South Asian Indian food intake, like the New Zealand food intake, is still way too high in saturated fat. That's the culprit, saturated fat. So I should go after it. And we have wonderful foods in New Zealand for healthy eating. We just need to change our way of shopping and preparation. Well, one change in preparation is already bubbling up. Kadu takes up this story. 